What's going on, Minties? The Uncanny Omar here from Near Min Condition, and today I'm gonna do an overview of the Elfin Lead Omnibus Volume 1. So please stay tuned. So here is Elfin Lead Volume 1. As you can tell, this first omnibus is pretty thick. And I'm gonna compare it here to the size of other manga published by Dark Horse and other companies. So the first one I'm gonna look at is, of course, Berserk. Published by Dark Horse, that is the deluxe edition, and one can expect it to be, of course, taller than this omnibus here. The omnibus seems to be pretty wide, though. Now, the omnibus does contain three books in here, so it sh should be about the same like that. Here's another book from Dark Horse. This is the Kurosagi Delivery Service. Also an omnibus edition, but one that has been discontinued that I hope they keep going with. And then an omnibus from Kadansha, and you can probably tell from the video here, the omnibus from Kadansha is a tad bit taller. By the way, Elfin Lead is retailed at $24.99. It's pretty much three of these books this size. That's what this is. And a lot of people seem to be concerned about the spine when a book is this thick and that small. And rightly so, because I've had some that are this thick that have creased already. Some of my actual Battle Angel Alita last orders did. Here it is compared to RG Veda, Volume 1. This is another one that I wish they had gone this route with. But they decided to keep them small. Eh, it's probably keeping the price down for $24.99. Now, I originally saw the 13-episode anime, Elfin Lead. That's what got me interested in this, because I wanted to see what the differences were. Because I remember watching Elfin Lead and thinking, oh, okay, that has that is such a different anime than I thought I was going to watch. Because, I mean, you can tell from this, by the way, these are horns, not cute little elf ears. I think it's taken from a German lore. I remember doing a little bit of research when I watched the anime and I wanted to know more about it. Because the anime kind of felt like... The ending was rushed and it didn't finish. So I'm glad that we're getting these. So I'm going to flip through here. Uh, it is gory. And, you know, a lot of nudity and sex. It is definitely rated mature because it does have mature content in here. So basically the premise of this is Lucy, or New, is a project. And she escapes this project. I'm not going to tell you what her powers are. But she does have these... Capabilities. Let me show you some pictures here, like this, of just destroying people's bodies and killing them in gory ways. That's kind of what this is like throughout the whole thing. Um, in yeah, like so things, things like this. Yeah, lots of that stuff happens within the book. For a cute little looking manga, it is not. And after escaping the facility where the project was going on, New, or also known as Lucy because she has split personality, runs into uh, these cousins here. This is Yuka and Kota. Now, she doesn't remember anything. She, does, she has amnesia, of course. We've seen that story many times. Um, and they don't know what they're taking in. They just see a naked girl on the beach with... I think they think these are ears at first but then they touch them and they're like oh no damn those are horns and they take her in and of course the, the people in charge of running this project want her back they run into other characters here i just wanted to showcase a little more of the artwork this is drawn and written by lynn okamoto by the way and i know that this is one that gets a lot of hate because it's violent for the purpose of not being violent, but I never really got that. I thought that the violence served what the story was doing. And I really liked the character of Kota and Yuka. And New. Uh, as far as other characters, they're okay. As far as, uh, as far as we go with the first volume, that is. Uh, but the violence is very much like this. It's very cartoony. It's not detailed. As a matter of fact, I think that is one thing I can say negative about this. Is the art is just... Um, too simplistic too yeah there's nothing going on there's no nothing that stands out about it it's too cute and i guess it makes it work because there's a lot of violence in here with decapitations and just appendages being torn apart so maybe that's why she decided to do this or have this art style 
with a very violent story. Um, but that's all I will say about that. Towards the end here, there are three additional stories that were at the end of each of the original manga. Uh, you do get colored pages when there are some, and there are very few in between, like so. And then you get a nice little afterword from her. So, I think maybe when the whole... Oh, and you get little translation notes, too, explaining certain things that are not... Um, found here in America, per se. And then, of course, coming soon is Elfin Lead, Volume 2. And that's pretty much it. So, what I'll probably do is wait until we get more volumes. I want to say there's going to be either three or four of these. And then probably do an overview of all of them. Um, as, I, as they come out, I'll probably read them. So, you know, if you're offended by a lot of nudity and just over-the-top violence, this may not be for you. But, you know, things like Berserk really up your alley, then it might be worth checking out. But I did want to warn you ahead of time, this is what the artwork looks like. So, in case you're expecting something else, because you can hardly tell from that cover what this is about. And that was the contents of the book. Let me know in the comments down below if you've seen the anime and are interested in this book manga or if this kind of stuff is just not for you don't forget to check out our redbubble store where you can get near mint condition logos on t-shirts and stickers magnets whatever you should like and if you haven't subscribed please think about subscribing and hit that like button and notifications button again this was the uncanny omar thank you very much for watching and remember if it's classy and cool it must be near mint <laughs>